I keep getting asked this type of question how do I get discipline or how do I want discipline or how do I maintain discipline one of the first steps you can take to impose discipline in your life is to wake up early in the morning because when the alarm goes off you got your head on that soft pillow it's all nice and cozy and warm in there you do not feel like getting up I would highly recommend all those young people out there who are listening, like, you want to get a jump on life? Get the hell out of bed in the morning. Get up early in the morning and get your things done. Learn how to do it. No excuses. I'm too tired in the morning. I don't like mornings. Who cares? That's not relevant. It's like discipline yourself so you can manage it. It's a practice that you have to, it's a habit. This is the time where you have to gain control back of your mind. I don't want a life where something else is controlling me. I got to put myself under extreme discipline to make sure I'm free. I want freedom. And for me, disciplining myself means more freedom. With myself, I have to hold the line. There are areas within myself where I cannot compromise. I am going to work hard. I am going to train hard. I am going to improve myself. I'm not going to give up or give out or give in. I am going to stand. I am going to maintain my self-discipline. And on those points, there will be no compromise. Not now, not ever. Don't worry about motivation. Motivation is fickle. It comes and goes. It is unreliable, and when you are counting on motivation to get your goals accomplished, you will likely fall short. Don't expect to be motivated every day to get out there and make things happen. You won't be. Don't count on motivation. Count on discipline. You have to do the work. You've got to hold the line. You've got to make it happen. We tend to do the things that are easy. It builds no mental toughness. It builds no mental hardening. It builds nothing. Life's about self-discipline. When you work out, working out is where you can build that the fastest. It gives you instant feedback. The discipline it takes, it transfers over to all aspects of your life. Man, why are you always working out? Stop looking at it that way. This is the foundation of life. What really matters when it comes down to being successful is not motivation. It's discipline. Anybody can do the shit they want to do when they feel like doing it. Anybody can go to the gym when they feel like going to the gym. Anybody could show up to work and give 100% when they feel good about what they're working on. But that's not what makes successful people successful. What makes successful people successful is what they do when they don't feel like it. Those are the differences that make up successful, fulfilled life from people who become very fucking average, very mundane when we talk about how to become successful everybody likes to talk about motivation but what do you do after the five minutes is over what do you do after you walk out of the seminar that you paid a thousand dollars to go to what do you do when you wake up the next day what do you do when somebody's not there watching you what do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you, those are the things that make up success. And that's not motivation, that's discipline. That's discipline to do the shit that you don't wanna do because you know it needs to be fucking done. When we talk about regret and like at the end of your life, how you're gonna feel about your life, I can 1000% guarantee you that how you feel about your life at the end of your time here is going to come down to your ability to cultivate discipline. It's gonna come down to you developing the ability 
to do the things that you don't feel like doing because you know that it's the right thing to do. Nobody wakes up in the morning every day of their life fired up. So don't ask the question, how do I stay motivated? Because no one stays motivated. Ask the question, how do I develop the discipline to do the things that I know I need to do when I don't feel like doing them? The one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it it helps you get things done. When you actually do things, you have more success. And sometimes a big part of success is just not being lazy and just doing it. Just get, that's like 90% of it is just showing up. Get there and start working. Like, you're not gonna feel perfect every day. If I felt, if I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat f Cause there's a lot of days I don't wanna do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that if, that actually gets good at something. That you you get there's got to be those days you push through and they're they're probably going to be more numerous than the days you don't and so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline i get things done i always say that i'm like the most lazy disciplined person i know because i don't want to do it but i always do thing about self-discipline is that it is necessary for everything you do in your life. You have to be self-disciplined. If you change your mind, your mindset, and really focus it on what discipline really is, you start to welcome discipline. You welcome self-discipline into your life. The reason discipline is hard to maintain is because it is hard to maintain. That's what makes discipline hard. It's hard. Maintaining the standard, giving no slack, none. That's the discipline. Envision what it feels like when you're done. When they're done, they feel good. Contrary to that, envision what you will feel like later when you let the discipline slack. Get to know those two different types of feelings and ask yourself which one you want to feel in 10 minutes when when the thing is done when the discipline has been implemented remember what that feels like and then remember that those minutes and those hours they turn into weeks and months and years and holding the line in those critical minutes will put you in an infinitely better place physically and mentally if you maintain the discipline People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. If you're not on time, you're not going to outdo me. So I will beat you by being consistent and being on time. Your problem is you start something, you stop it. You start something, you stop it. You feel good, you do it. You don't feel good, you quit. Whatever you do, be on time and be consistent. Stop doing stuff in January that you know you're not going to do in March. I need you to ask yourself before you start it, can I be consistent with this?